A couple of months since it's gone into effect, some people in East Village say San Diego's encampment ban isn't working. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes is live in East Village tonight with why neighbors there say the city needs to do even more to make the idea actually work. Kirsten? Yeah, okay, so I'm live here by the Petco Park tailgating parking lot. I want you to take a look behind me so you can get a little more of an idea of the problem. Around 9 this morning, this sidewalk was lined with tents. Those makeshift shelters were short-lived because around noon today, city crews came and swept the area, giving people who live on the streets options and notices that they have 24 hours to take advantage of programs. Here it is, 6 o'clock, and you can start to see tents already starting to gather back on this sidewalk, leaving neighbors here in East Village feeling pretty hopeless. Something has to change and it has to change soon. Giorgio Curlo lives in East Village and says enough is enough. His thoughts on the encampment ban? It was a half-hearted measure that we thought would create some progress. They do these sweeps. The reality is is that we are completely overwhelmed and for some reason it seems like East Village became the government's dumping ground. John Brady works with lived experience advisors. He says he used to call the streets of San Diego home, but now that he's back on his feet, he works to help others. But he says the encampment ban isn't working because the problem is bigger than what the encampment ban can fix. We're more than 60% of the way through most of the, the goals of a 10 year plan on homelessness that the city established just four years ago, right? So we're ahead of the game according to the plan, but we didn't predict that there were going to be 35,000 people who became homeless or impacted our system just this year alone. We don't have anywhere for people to be. I don't care how many safe sleeping sites we open up, unless we open up 3,000 tomorrow, we're not going to be able to resolve this. Brady says by the end of the year, there will be 35,000 unhoused individuals in San Diego. As of October 2023, San Diego's Regional Task Force on Homelessness counted more than 28,000 active clients. The safe sleeping sites can only hold a fraction of that number. Cookie Serrano lives in East Village. She says something has to give quick. Those of us that live down here see horrible things, right? We, we also, you know, see people dying. We see people overdosing. We see people being hauled away by cops. We see people being chased by cops. But I do feel like with the encampment ban and with the uh, safe sleeping sites, we have seen some improvement in the number of tents downtown. We reached out to the city of San Diego and SDPD since police enforce the camping ban. SDPD says, quote, Quality of life crime enforcement occurs in the downtown area seven days a week by NPD officers. Although we are utilizing the unsafe camping ordinance in a limited capacity in the downtown area, only around certain schools, we have continuously enforced other violations such as encroachment to address tent and other encampments established on the public right away. Now, the neighbors we talked to today say that they are happy that it gets cleaned up, but they're hoping for a more permanent solution soon. Reporting for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes.